what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so guys you know ex-wives and girlfriends and baby mamas can become some of the most vindictive individuals that you can deal with um, I, I know that because I don't I don't have kids or anything, but I've definitely seen other brothers deal with it. I have dealt with vindictive ex-girlfriends. And you know when things don't work out and you don't want to be with them anymore, and it could be for many reasons, something that you've done, something that they've done, it just makes people hate you. Let's say, for example, if the, if the woman is saying that you know you're not paying child support or you're not seeing your kids are not doing anything you know it just becomes really ugly and it makes it very difficult to have an amicable divorce or a separation that's the problem that we're dealing with here okay and many of you guys have gone through this you can't even see your kids you can't even get visitation rights when you get them on the weekend here she comes trying to take the kid from you early all these things that are based on something that happened in the relationship and it's supposed to, the relationship has been over, but she still has this animosity and you're still suffering. Okay, so let's talk about Kel Mitchell. Nobody really cares about Kel Mitchell anymore. All right, Kel Mitchell is just like, not Kev, but Kev Mitchell, right? He, he's gone somewhere else, all right? Kel is, you know, a, a, a Nickelodeon entertainer kind of child star, never really developed into an adult actor like that. And... He doesn't do too much, all right? But his ex-wife is really, really, really a pain in the ass, okay? Now, she she said this, okay? She, she said this, that one day she came home early to Nick Cannon wearing her um, uniform, doing cheers on the bed for my ex-husband, to cheer him up because he cheated on me. In other words, she is saying that they are gay. You know, what you doing on TikTok? Now she's been saying many things about him um, over the last two years. E even Kill moved on, but she's been saying things like this all the time. And that's Taisha Hampton. Okay, something is wrong with her. Okay, something's wrong with her. But now. I, I want to say this, and it's been Taisha damn near almost 17 years. You're still bitter. Why didn't you say that before? Why are you waiting until now to say it? You want to know why? Because when y'all divorced, you thought that you were going to be able to do better. You thought that you were going to be able to do better. Okay. You've been saying he abused you, all of these things, all of this stuff. And guess what? Nobody ever came and dealt with you. And what I mean, dealt with you, I'm talking like the fact that like you're, you're, you're bitter. You're bitter. It's over. The relationship is over. He's now remarried with somebody else. Okay. This is 17 years ago and you're still not over it. Get a life. Okay, he's married to Asia Lee now, but you're still bitter. And he's been married to that lady for a long time. Happily married, but you're mad, you're mad, you're bitter. Why are you bitter? Because don't nobody want your ass. Whose fault is it that don't, don't nobody want you? Because if they did, you wouldn't have time to be so goddamn bitter all the time. But I understand that this is what you dudes go through, baby mama drama. And this is what I honestly believe for some of you brothers. And shout out to LAR movement when I say this. <sighs> These ladies are upset that when you guys divorced or broke up, she didn't destroy you. She wanted you to be destroyed. And it didn't happen. You were supposed to be destroyed. Child support was supposed to destroy you. Okay. 
Restraining orders supposed to destroy you. Guess what? None of that happened. The guy actually moved on. He's now even with a better wife than you. He's happy. They have more kids. And you're the one calling and hanging up being bitter. Who looks like the dummy here? It's not him. It's you. It's you. You look like the idiot. You are the mad person because you can't get over it. And a lot of these ladies feel like they can break up with these guys and all this stuff. These dudes are going to be completely destroyed and it's them. Why? Because opportunity is a knock all the time. You know, these men are not just sitting back waiting to talk to you, waiting to date you, you know? Oh, because you know, you're on the market again. Everybody's gonna, you know, just sit back and do whatever. No, 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 the world doesn't work like that. No. So you go back and you attack the guy because how dare you go and be happy, right? How dare you go? Leave me, go be happy. How dare you? I'm going to punish you for that. I'm going to go out and try to scandalize your name. And the whole time that guy doesn't even say anything about her. He just sits back and let her say everything she wants. She caught you. Know, it's all and everything. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. You want attention so bad, but you're so miserable. It has been 17 years for crying out loud for the love of God. Let the guy go. But when, 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 when ladies do this to black men, nobody says nothing. Nobody says nothing. It is completely okay to terrorize these guys' lives. To make these guys' lives a living hell, it is completely fine. To destroy these young men's lives after it didn't work out. And I understand you have your stories of, you know, black male stalkers and all that and women being hurt. But, you know, this stuff never gets talked about, right? It never gets mentioned. Wanna know why it never gets mentioned? I'll tell you why, because they don't want to, it's okay. It's okay to come out there and bash these dudes, okay? I guess this other stuff with um, uh, Amber Heard, y'all didn't learn y'all lesson, huh? Y'all wanna keep playing, huh? I feel like Juvenile, huh? The Ha song. You wanna keep playing, huh? You wanna keep out here talking all of this trash, huh? Def defamation, huh? Let it go, boo. I know you want to get your TikTok popping. I know you want to get a book written, but nobody cares about Kill, to be, to be honest. And you're not talented enough. Go get a job. It's over. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy. Oh, shit, dude, Jackson. <coughs> Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out. <laughs>